there are questions that organizations have to tackle to use these data sets in ways that are, that are positive and accurate uh, for, for decision making. And a couple of the big questions that come up for any organization confronted with the opportunity are questions such as, does the available data really represent the broader decision framework of the actors who generate this data? For example, if you're interested in uh, the response in a population to two different products that might be offered, let's say two consumer products, brands or types of, uh, let's say, shampoo or something like that, and you look at big data that comes out of cash registers to try to understand uh, which, how, the preference profiles of uh, consumers that are interested in these two different, uh, these two different pr products, you have to address this question, is this data that's coming out of this cash register accu accurately represent the full range of choices uh, that uh, these uh, consumers are considering? You know, uh, what are the biases that have been introduced into the data? Uh, have we collected it properly? These are important questions, but they're not the questions that I think carry the greatest promise for big data. They're very important, but they're not, for me, um, as uh, inspiring as uh, some of the questions I'll get to in a moment. Nonetheless, I want to acknowledge the, the importance of these things. We have to ask questions such as, what, what's the time series? Or are there control data sets we have to think about? Uh, and how organizations should be designed uh, to, to take advantage of, of, of big data. But what I'll argue is that this is just the tip of the iceberg. Internal questions that are built around the execution, the capable execution of a company, companies or an organization's established strategy is uh, they're important, they're uh, crucially important, but they are the tip of the iceberg on the potential here. Underneath the level of the water, are uh, opportunities to start to tackle some of uh, new questions and to build organizations to sort of take on uh, what I've been calling in, in previous lectures uh, 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 big wicked problems that are the uh, central problems of our century in my, in my view. And I've listed on this slide just a couple of the big opportunities that I think really create the potential for not just new data sets, but new types of organizations that could take uh, advantage of these uh, opportunities. Let me give you just a couple, of, a couple of examples off this list. Identifying climate change hotspots. We now have data sets that are emerging on toxic garbage dumps, basically, around the world that are omitting, emitting chemicals that, are, that have the potential to accelerate and generate uh, uh, changes in climate. How do we use these data sets? How do, who owns them? Who owns the data? Who gets to exploit them? Uh, for business opportunity is an open question. Uh, second, remediating financial inst instability. We now have the ability to track securities and to spot the accumulation of fast transactions uh, around the world in certain areas of finance that I think will open up new business opportunities, not just for analysts, but for companies that want to take advantage of these kinds of uh, emerging trends.